Hi, Alvin Deleon here, and you are watching episode 69 of the Three Minute Health Tip. And in this episode, I'm going to talk about conflictolysis or conflict resolution. In the previous episode, I discussed sort of what we go through when we have an unexpected shock and what happens during the conflict active phase of a biological program. And in this video now, I'm going to talk more about what happens when we resolve that conflict. This is known as conflictolysis. Over the years of, of really studying GNM and implementing it clinically, I start to appreciate the fact that most of our conflicts, the things that tend to cause us more of the difficult symptoms or chronic symptoms usually involve themes that are really high value for us. Problems with our partners or our spouses, worries uh, about our loved ones or family members, difficulties or challenges at our workplace or at school, issues regarding finances, or general concerns or worries about ourselves, about feeling abandoned, feeling unsupported, feeling devalued, these sorts of things. And so a lot of the times these conflicts get resolved naturally based on changes in our life situation. If you're dealing with a bully at school and you graduate and you go to a different school, then that conflict gets resolved and uh, you go into healing. Or if you're dealing with a, a boss at work who's been picking on you, sometimes that boss gets fired and, or you get promoted to a different office in a different uh, city. And so that conflict naturally gets resolved. Or maybe it's just a maturity uh, as we get older, as we mature, things that were important to us when we were 15, when you're 25, isn't so important. And so that issue, whether it's around money or around your parents or around uh, an issue at school doesn't become an issue anymore and it naturally resolves. Now that's great. Uh, we can wait for these situations to resolve themselves. However, if you're suffering with symptoms, it's important to really uh, find a way for you to try to resolve your conflict as quickly as possible. And usually there's two ways that I tell my patients that they can do that. One is to change their situation. So if you're dealing with an issue at school, then perhaps you have to address that issue in order to change it. Maybe you have to move to a different classroom or a different school altogether. If it's an issue at work, maybe you have to have that meeting with your boss or request to move or find another job. So one way to resolve these conflicts and enter conflictolysis is to address the conflict head on and change the situation itself. Now, that might not be easy for some people because of situations regarding money or you, you need your, your job. The other way is to change your perspective around it. And how do we do this? I know I talk a lot about it. It's not so easy to change our perspective. Well, one way to do it is through detachment. And what I mean by detachment is to be able to back away from your life and look at the conflict that you're dealing with from a different vantage point from up here. And when you start to look at it from a bigger picture perspective, you start to appreciate the fact that your life is not defined by that conflict. That in fact, I encourage people to look at what they're dealing with right now as a transition period. Almost like you've woken up, you've realized that your symptoms, your rash, your allergies, your pain is because of this issue that I've been dealing with in my marriage, with my family, in my work situation. And now that you've woken up to that, that awareness, you're now in transition and you realize that the goal in this transitional phase is to move away from how you used to think and feel about that situation, the old version of you, and to move towards this future ideal version of yourself that's able to deal with that issue or that issue is not even a, a concern whatsoever. And it's this future version, version of you that, that's healthy, that has uh, that has vitality, that doesn't have the symptoms that you're dealing with. And so if you're dealing with something right now, one of the things that we need to do, again, regarding resolving these conflicts is number one, change the situation by addressing it directly, or number two, change your perspective. But one of the ways you can change your perspective is to detach from the situation and look at it as a transitional period. So if you're having a difficult situation at your work, 
look at it look at it that this is a stepping stone job this it doesn't define you this isn't your career this is where you need to be to move forward to gather the skills to move forward to something bigger and better into the future and perhaps that perspective allows you to downgrade or resolve the conflicts that you're having with your coworkers. So I hope that that health tip serves you. Go out there and implement it. Detach yourself from whatever you're dealing with. Change that situation or perspective. And I hope that it allows you to have relief from your symptoms. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you at the next episode.